Okay. And be careful with these deers. Um, I won't actually take it off, but we can sort of take a peep through here. Um, so what we have here is some kombucha. I'll talk very lightly so not to disturb it too much. Um, the liquid is basically black tea. Any black tea will do. You'll be surprised. People try and go funky, but actually the simplest, dirtiest black tea you can get will do fine. So long as it doesn't have any oils or any other sort of enriched with flavors and things like that. The kombucha doesn't like it. Uh, then what you need is again sugar so you'd put maybe one cup of sugar for five or six liters of kombucha and then the most important thing the mother or the scoby as they call it symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast which is this white thing that we see over here it's like a pancake very sort of sludgy um, texture you add that that will feed and reproduce and as you can see at the top there's a little film that's starting to um, produce itself uh, and that's the mother creating another um, uh, another sort of pancake like uh, scoby um, that's when that gets a bit thicker um, that's what I will use to make my next batch so it's actually amazing every time you make a kombucha you you end up with two mothers so encouraging to make two and then from two you make four and so on so if you've got an extra one give it to your friend um, after a week or so that's ready so then all you do is bottle it in a sort of the same way uh, as you would bottle beer or, um, just with a cap sealed uh, that will gasify it a bit and then it's ready to drink after a few days put it in the fridge wait for a nice summer hot afternoon crack it open and it's delicious <laughs> <laughs> is it fizzy um, it's best enjoyed fizzy you can drink it when it's not uh, again what makes it fizzy is uh, putting it under pressure in in a beer bottle or whatever other sealed um, bottle you have. Is it, is it alcohol? Um, no, it's not classed as an alcoholic drink. Because of the fermentation process, uh, it does contain up to 0.5% um, alcohol, but uh, legally that's not recognized as alcoholic. Mm -hmm. um, there are ways of doing it alcoholic if you so desire but it's best to not mix your alcoholic drinks in your health drinks <laughs> okay well, what how do you recognize if it goes wrong can it go wrong yes it can uh, simple tips so that it doesn't is uh, again cleanliness um, aeration and um, just make sure that the materials you're using in the beginning are, are sort of not contaminated uh, if it does go wrong, it's very obvious. You can see it immediately. Uh, there's a variety of symptoms. Uh, it can either have green mold, discard it immediately, and don't reuse the same mother. That's why it's always good to have a mother in reserve. Um, it can the the, the top pancake uh, might form in just not smooth pancake-like form, but might have like bubbles and froth and things like that. That's also a sign that it's uh, probably not good to drink. And uh, most importantly, the smell. So if it smells like something you don't feel like drinking, then probably best not to drink. But uh, for most of the time, it's a pretty simple, straightforward process. And it not only tastes yummy, uh, it's very refreshing and thirst quenching, but it's also a literal bomb of helpful, beneficial microorganisms and bacteria and um, and yeast for your stomach, so really increasing the fauna of your of your stomach, helpful for all sorts of ailments and generally balanced health. For someone who has never um, heard of it or drank it, what what is it similar to? Anything you you would have come in, in touch with? Uh, it's hard to say. It's very distinct in its flavor. Um, I guess it's it has a bit of the element of the tea um, because of course there is tea in it. So I guess it might be an a fizzy apple juice tea sort of with a bit of a tarty vinegary uh, aftertouch or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that's the best I can do.